Are you new to homesteading? Are you thinking about how to be more self-reliant? Interested in how to raise animals? How to grow your own food? Or how to preserve food? Do you like the outdoors? Do you like pets? Do you like animals? Then welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. Join Sherry and Rob as we learn new things, new equipment, and new techniques. Sometimes we have great fails and great success. But most of all, we're trying. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Today is a milestone for me and Sherry. Uh, our electrician is here today uh, from Van, uh, Von Haas uh, Electric LLC and uh, I'll put their uh, link to them uh, at the bottom of uh, the description below. And let's go take a quick look at what he's doing. So Brian was uh, is here from uh, Boss, uh, Von Haas uh, Electric. And today we're getting a bypass uh, master switchover for electrical in case our power goes out and we want to send some power into the house. Uh, and what he's doing is creating a bypass on our uh, circuit breakers and installing a uh, 50 amp plug in the outside of the house here. So what will happen is we flip over, shut off the master uh, circuit breaker so we don't send power back out to the lines. And then uh, we connect uh, our generator to it and it will, by uh, whatever circuits we decide to turn on, we can power if we don't overload the generator. So uh, <laughs> uh, basically his mission right now is to get an outlet put in on the side of the house and then uh, he'll have to rearrange some of our circuit breakers and all my circuit breakers are right here. And, uh, and then he'll put a 50 amp plug in the outside and then teach me how to use the damn thing and uh, we'll be set to go. And so I'll be very thrilled to have that installed. So while Brian's installing stuff in our garage and stuff, the last thing I need is our dogs to drive him crazy. So, Belle, you got a new bone, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And uh, Cinder's got a bone too, so she's over in the other part of the property. And they'll be here for an hour or two working on those, but it's kind of funny. I don't think Belle likes them when they're frozen. And uh, so I think she's just waiting for it to thaw out. She's getting kind of smart. So, uh, Brian just got the hole drilled in this thing and this is a hardy plank so it's a pain in the neck and we're running six gauge wire uh, outside which will be where he puts the uh, 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 the outlet so we can plug our generator into it and uh, he's been here before so <clears throat> he's really good about being on camera so we'll talk a little more in depth about how the system works when he gets done because I want to keep bugging him. All right guys so this is the glorious time that Brian shows me what's going on here. It's going to be a little dark. But uh, there's a finished product. You, that sticker right there? Is the yeah, process. so this walks you through it. But what you want to do is kill all your bigger loads. Um, your range. That goes out to your shop. Um, your furnace. Water heater. The dryer. Your heat pump. That's probably good. And then you can kill off the main. So you slide this guy over. And then you just turn on your your so generator breaker. Turn off the main. Which one's the generator breaker? Right here. Oh, this guy right here. Mm -hmm. And that can't be turned on or off and, uh, once you move the plate back over, right? Yeah, so the whole point of this interlock is so you can't turn on the main. You can't slide this over when the generator breaker's on. Got it. So to restore power, you would just turn the generator back off, slide this over that locks out the generator. Gotcha. And then you just power the main back on. Cool. And then turn all your loads back on. You just don't want to switch that main breaker under high loads. Yeah. Wow, how simple. That's it. Um, so the hookup outside is 50 amps. And so basically, 
when I am using that, I am turning on circuits, it's important to watch my, that I'm not pushing my 50 amps too far. Yeah, you don't want to overload your generator. So you're not going to be able to run your big loads, you know, you could probably run your range. That would be it though. Yeah. Um, so you can come out here and turn things on and off depending on what you're going to be using. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can live, if you're not um, running your heat, you're not going to be able to run your electric heat. Um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but you could do your water heater and like some lighting loads um, if you need to run your dryer and maybe some other things you could flip off the water heater um, you could shed that load for a little bit obviously you wouldn't want to leave that off too long yeah. in the winter because you could potentially freeze um, but I mean that would take quite some time but yeah I mean when you just live in the same day to day you should be able to pretty much live in it like you normally do yeah. it's just when you start cooking or running your bigger appliances would you need to start shedding load yeah sweet. So, well, Brian, cool. Brian's done it again. He says this is a lot better to do than working on my septic tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully cool. no more issues with that for a while. Yeah, and uh, the plug outside is uh, weatherproof, looks really uh, very easy to work with, and all I have to do is get the right cord. <laughs> so, and uh, that's probably another 100 bucks, by the way, guys. I get a good cord for 50 amps, well over 100 bucks, because I've bought them for my RV before. Yeah, I just looked at one the other day, about a buck twenty. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Add a few zeros, guys. So before I forget, uh, this is the plug right here. And uh don't know how to open it, but... <laughs> oh, it's down below. Right up in there. So, uh, yeah, so that's where my 50 amp plug is for my generator. And uh, how cool is that? So it looks really good. And I am very happy to have this. So now, uh, no matter what happens, as long as I have the generator, uh, I can power a lot of our units in the house, including our pellet stove. So, so happy to have that. The last thing I want to bring up is uh, I've had other electricians here before. And one is I've been very impressed with Brian. Uh, he uh, definitely gets backlogged. So if you order his services, it could be a few weeks or a month. But it's worth it. His prices are fair. And uh, he comes right to your house. Uh, usually if he knows what the job is, he has all the equipment purchased already. And uh, so he's treating us really fair. This is the second time we've had him here. And we highly recommend his services. Once again, the name of his company is Von Haas Electric LLC. I'll put his information down in the description below. Uh, I highly recommend him. He's worth it. So there you go, guys. Well, we're really happy to get that done. Uh, today, I, uh, one of my NFTs was blocked with uh, some roots again, so I had to cut those out. But uh, yeah, very happy to have the backup uh, switch on the house now. Uh, it turns out that the cord that I use for my fifth wheel, and I have a spare, uh, will actually work as a uh, jumper from my generator to the house, no problem. However, the generator I got is only a 5,000. He recommends to get up to uh, 1,200, 12,000 if I can. So I may end up buying another generator in the future, but in a pinch I could use my 5,000, but I could only use minimal systems in the house. And that's okay, because I just need a pellet stove and <clears throat> maybe a, a computer and internet, and maybe the television. And uh, yeah, so we'll go with that. Plus I have my backup uh, to smaller generator too. So very, very happy about that. So, uh, and maybe the next one uh, generator I get will be able to run off propane instead of fuel. So we'll see about that. So guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I've got a bok choy soup to make tonight. Looking forward to trying that. And uh, hopefully I'll be successful. So guys, have a great day. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. And uh, bye for now. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now.
Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.